Living with Laura Klein. Today we're going to talk about organic chicken and why it's healthy for you. I'm making my favorite roasted stuffed chicken with roasted heirloom potatoes. I'm starting by adding my potatoes to a large pot of salted boiling water. The water should actually taste like the ocean. That's how you know when you've got the right amount of salt in your water. I have about a three and a half pound organic chicken. The reason I've chosen an organic chicken, number one, it just tastes a whole heck of a lot better. And number two, it's a lot healthier for you. They aren't fed any antibiotics or hormones. They also get exercise, and what that does is it adds a wonderful flavor to the meat. So to prepare this chicken, we're gonna cut out the backbone. So what you really need is a good pair of sharp shears. Now this is a lot easier than you think. All you do is simply cut along the backbone. It's that simple. I'm gonna turn it over, flatten it out a bit, make sure the skin is nice and loose. I'm gonna cut a couple of slits right by the legs so I can get the stuffing underneath there. Loosen it up. Okay, now we've got the chicken prepped, let's start on the stuffing. First, I'm gonna saute the onions. Add one tablespoon of butter and one cup of onions. Then, about four cloves of garlic. So let's let that saute until they're just translucent and tender. Now, the zucchini. salting it. This is going to remove any bitterness from the zucchini. It's also going to make it really tender. You're just going to take a few pinches of your favorite sea salt or kosher salt, toss it, and let it drain for about 10 to 15 minutes. Time to check the onion. This is the beginning of our stuffing. Now that our zucchini has drained for about 10 to 15 minutes, it's time to rinse it. You rinse it because you want to rinse off all the salt. Then squeeze it dry, really, really dry. I like to saute the zucchini as well, because again, it's gonna bring out a nice, mild flavor in the zucchini. Add one tablespoon of butter to the pan. In goes the zucchini. Okay, great, we got the zucchini going. Next, chop one cup of pine nuts. To do this simple and easy, just add it to a small food processor. Boom, we're done, it's that easy. I'm adding this to my onions, and this is the beginning of our yummy stuffing. Next, I'm adding really yummy cheese. This is an Italian pecorino cheese that's similar to Parmesan, but it's a little bit milder and not quite as salty. If you prefer Parmesan, go ahead and use it. It's really your choice. I'm also adding a quarter cup of ricotta cheese. This really helps to keep the chicken moist, and it also gives the stuffing a really nice creaminess. We're gonna give it a few stirs. I'm also adding another layering of seasoning. Be generous. Don't be afraid to use that kosher or sea salt. Just stay away from the iodized salt. Fresh cracked pepper. 
And one more thing, two tablespoons of butter. Stir it all together, and that's it. Now we're ready to stuff the bird. Now you really want to stuff as much stuffing underneath the skin as you possibly can because what happens is it starts to ooze out when you roast it and it creates a nice yummy sauce that you can just simply spoon over the finished chicken. For the final touch, we're going to add a beautiful herbed olive oil and just spread it all over the chicken. I know the chicken is done when the internal temperature has reached 170 degrees. I'm gonna check the chicken in 45 minutes. 